Welcome to day 81. Today I'm going to talk about what do I watch on YouTube as far as spirituality, religious, God. Okay, I'm a Christian. It's out. No secret. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. Jesus was a dude that was God in the flesh. And he proved that by dying and coming back and living here three days after he died. But that's another story. So we're not going to bog down in there. You don't have to stop and go, oh, I'm not going to listen to this. Because a lot of religious people have incredible information about how to get along with people, about how to be in gratitude and be happy with what we've got, to be um, challenged and want to do more in life. These are the people that I listen to, and these are the reasons why I listen to them. Rick Warren. He wrote a book called The Purpose Driven Church. Not The Purpose Driven Life. First he wrote a book called The Purpose Driven Church. It's an incredible book about how to grow an organization. How to grow. Can you imagine growing an organization with thousands and thousands of people that are both customers and volunteers and they come together on a regular basis and they give you a lot of money but they also give you a lot of drama. Rick Warren wrote a book called The Purpose Driven Church, which has sold over a million copies. Okay? But then he also wrote another book called The Purpose Driven Life. Now that book I've read over 110 times. 110, 111, 112, I've got it written down, but over 110 times. And that book has made a huge difference in my life. He is one of the greatest preachers I've ever listened to. Now to understand your life purpose and understand your life calling, you have to begin with God because God created you and you can't tell yourself what your purpose is, only your creator can tell you what your purpose is. And your purpose, your calling in life actually begins in the nature of God. And the Bible tells us that God is love. We have talked about this so many times, that God doesn't have love, God doesn't just show love, God is love. Love is the nature, the character, the essence of God. There would be no love in the universe if it weren't for the fact that God is love. He doesn't rant and rave and scream at you. He's got great messages, very down to earth messages. I met Rick Warren. He is a real person. Probably one of the most powerful people in the world to create world peace. Another gentleman that is incredible, he had a choice of going into the business world, his family had a produce business, or going into the religious world. And he made the choice that he really wanted to, to he wanted to bring the love of God to as many people as possible. He's not a, he doesn't rant and rave and all that stuff. He's got a huge church in Chicago, in the Chicago area, and his name is Bill Hybels. Now, Bill has written uh, probably 15 or 20 books. I've read all of those books. I've gained some great knowledge from reading his books, and I watch him on YouTube. Some big prize at the end of my life. My race hasn't been all that admirable in many ways, but I am increasingly committed to finishing the thing, and with God's help, to finishing it well. Finishing it with my integrity intact, and finishing it with a sweet spirit and a heart that can still be surprised by God and filled with wonder once in a while. I'd like to finish it with a family that loves to be together and be around me. Got some great information that makes me feel good, that inspires me, that, wants, that helps me to become successful. Now, I'm in Oklahoma City. In Oklahoma City, I, I'm a Methodist and they had a Methodist, uh, a new Methodist preacher. And when he was young, he saw certain things that he wanted to do at his church, and he was kind of held back. So he and his wife just decided to start a church. And basically, they started a church in a garage. Now, he is an incredible leader. His name is Craig Groeschel. He started a church in Oklahoma City called Life Church. And now there are life churches all the way through the, throughout the United States. And one of the things about Craig that is so incredible is he truly believes in the law of abundance. His church gives away free material to help people throughout the world. One of the things, there's a, 
It's called the Bible app. And you can download all different kinds of translations on your phone and it's free. It's an incredible Bible app. But Craig is so down to earth. I mean, what he's done in order to build this huge organization and how it's, how it's all come together and how well it runs and it's debt free. So much to learn from Craig Rochelle. And also how to develop a better relationship with God. That God does not want you to pursue happiness. God wants you to pursue Him. God does not want you to pursue Him in the name of happiness. And you need to understand this. God is the end. God is the goal. His presence is the goal. His will is the goal. He, you do not pursue Him so He gives you what you want. That's using God, not glorifying God. God doesn't mind you being happy. I'm sure he delights in his children's happiness, but it is not his highest calling. Okay, my next one. Now, most of you have heard of this guy, and you probably got an opinion, and I had an opinion of this guy because I had an opinion, and it wasn't a favorable opinion because he's a TV evangelist, but he's really not. I mean, he's on television, but his church is ginormous, and he started behind the camera his father was the, the, was the preacher. And one day his father died and they didn't have a minister to take over the church. And this guy stood up to the plate. Even though he always felt like he'd be better behind the camera, he's incredible in front of the camera. And his messages are always pertinent and they make a lot of sense. His name is Joel Olstein. I highly recommend Joel Olstein. You may be struggling now. You feel pressured. You think that's the way it's always going to be. You'll always struggle with your health, struggle in a relationship, struggle in your finances. No, you're going to come in to an anointing of ease. When you come into this ease, what once was a struggle won't be a struggle anymore. You're going to have a supernatural grace, a favor that will lighten the load and take the pressure off. God is going to make your life easier. Now, one of my favorite old time guys, been around, he's dead now, but there's still a lot of videos on YouTube, Robert Schuller. He wrote a book and he wrote a lot of books. And one of the books he wrote is, Tough Times Never Last, Tough People Do. Robert was so incredible when he spoke. He had a television show that came on Sundays, it was called The Hour of Power. You become a close friend of Jesus Christ. I am, have been. He's alive. Talk to him. He'll hear you. And he'll give you what God wants you to be. Bright light in a dark world. And he read a lot and he learned a lot. And he was he started with nothing and he built this large organization that helped millions of people throughout the world through the hour of power and through his church. He had this incredible church that you could either walk inside the church to hear the sermon or you could just drive up. Because he started, he started his church at a drive-in theater back in the day when people would drive their cars to a, a field and they had speakers and you put the speaker in your car and you could watch the movie. That's where he started his church at a drive in uh, drive-in theater. So Robert Schuller, very well and very very well read, read a lot of books, had a lot of great people, interviewed a lot of people. He studied success, but he also had an incredible love for God. All of these people, all five of these people, are have a love for God, have a love for people. One of the, uh, I don't know if it's a, a scripture or whatever, but one of it is love God and love others. Love God and love people. So today, I try to love God through my actions, through my time, through my, uh, through my gifts. I try to love God and, and people in the same way. And so, um, Robert Schuller, an incredible orata orator, is that how you say it? An incredible orator. I highly recommend these guys. Rick Warren, Bill Hybels, Craig Groeschel, Joel Olstein and Robert Schuler. Now, if you know of a woman preach, oh, you know what? I just now remember her. What's her name? Austin, you know her name. She wrote the book, uh, Battlefield of the Mind. Joyce Myers. Okay, Joyce Myers reminds me of Minnie Pearl. 
a lady that used to be on a show called Hee Haw. She's like really kind of country and everything. But she's incredibly sophisticated, if you understand. And her message is, have you ever read the book Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Myers? It's a great book. She's written a lot of books. She's done incredible. She's become very, very successful by being an evangelist. I don't even know if she has her own church, but she gets crowds of thousands and thousands, 10, 20,000 people to come listen to her. And she's got some great information. The information that jo Joyce Myers has will improve your life. But anyway, what I wanted to say is if you know some women that are great evangelists or they have a great ministry, put it in the comments down below and let us know because I would like to watch uh, anybody that is, has a great message that helps me to have a better relationship with God and helps me to have better relationships with people. Please like this video if you liked it. Now, I really appreciate the likes, probably more than the subscriptions, but if you want to subscribe, that's cool, but really like the video. Thank you very much for watching, and the next video that I'm going to do is going to be about, okay, so I wrote a book in 2006, Mentor, The Kid and the CEO. If you don't like to read, this is a book you should read, because I wrote this book for people just like me. I didn't learn how to read until I was 26. I read at a fourth grade level. I want to read a book that will actually make a difference in my life, and I guarantee this book will. I guarantee it so much that if you want to have more energy and you want to be financially successful, inside this little book there are ways to start a business with very little money and make good money to great money. There are also things in here about how to have more energy and what it takes to have energy, and how to give, get over a resentment, how to become more responsible, how to become a millionaire. In this book, you can become a millionaire by taking the action of this book, and the reason why I know that is because this is the action I've taken in order to become a successful multi-millionaire. So here's my guarantee. If you read this book cover to cover and think it was a complete waste of your time, call me. Here's my phone number right here. Call me and tell me why, and I will give you $50. $50 if you read this book, if you read this book cover to cover and think it was a complete waste of your time, I'll give you 50 bucks. Buy this on Amazon. Go to amazon.com, find the one that comes from us. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's discounted. Maybe it's not. It's cheap. It's $14.95 is the book value, okay? $14.95, your Prime member shipping is free. So buy this book on Amazon. Put a comment about it, whether you like the book. If you think this book was a complete waste of your time, you call me and you tell me why, and I'll send you 50 bucks cash. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the book, and I hope you enjoy the videos.